Toilet talk. We love toilet talk. How's it going, everybody? The next time we see football, it'll matter. And it pumps me the hell up. Who doesn't love some football? If you don't love football, Okay, let's get right to it. We're gonna do some predictions. We're gonna I'm gonna tell you all my predictions for the divisions each and every day. Today we're gonna to start off with the Norths, AFC and NFC. Let's get right to it. Who is gonna be the cellar dwellers of the AFC North? Who's gonna be the little tiny poops floating around the toilet? The little poop nuggets. And, you know, who's gonna be, you know, the shitless? Last place of the AFC North is, and I have no pleasure in saying this, but it's going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Why? Well, I, I think Kenny Pickett's average at best. Najee Harris is solid. They're going to be okay. I still think they're going to have a bad record. I think they'll float around the 500 mark because Mike Tomlin is the best, one of the best coaches in the league. But I just don't think they're better. They're in a hard division, man. Bengals, Ravens, and Browns are no joke. And I just don't think the Steelers are better than any of them. Third place, the Cleveland Browns. Deshaun Watson's going to be better this year. He's going to be bad. He's going to be as in a bad. Like, yeah, I think he's, he's hungry. I just don't think the team's quite ready. They're not as good as the other two teams. But the Browns, I think they'll be decent this year. I think they'll, they'll battle for the wild card spot to the very end. And who knows? Maybe they'll slip in. I'll tell you that prediction later on. But I got the Browns at third place. Second place. The Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson's healthy. They got Odell Beckham Jr. They got Zay Flowers, Mark Andrews. J.K. Dobbins is healthy. Gus Edwards. Defense has got to play a little better. Ravens are a good team. I think Lamar wants it. He's, he's ready. They're going to get second place in that division here. And that, obviously, Cincinnati Bengals are going to win the AFC North yet again. Because Joe Burrow is just that plunger. He plunges all the shit out and unclogs everybody's toilet. He's Mr. Cool. Joe Cool. You got Joe Mixon and Pete. And, or not Pete, right? My bad. He's off the he's on the Broncos now. But Joe Mixon. You got uh you know, Higgins, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd. It's just endless. He has so many weapons. That Bengals team, they're the favorites by a mile here. Bengals, they're always gonna be Super Bowl. One of the Super Bowl favorites. They're winning another division. They're the plunger. They unclogged the whole a AFC North. Let's jump into the NFC. Let's see if I'm biased. Let's see if I'm biased about my Bears. Because it's the Bears division. And I think they're better. Let's get right into my predictions for the NFC North. Who's going to be the cellar dweller? Who's going to be the little poop nuggets? Who's going to be the little pieces of corn in them that makes you sick and cringe and just gives you diarrhea because they're so bad and they just make you use all the toilet paper in the world because they're going to be shit last this year? It's going to be the Green Bay Packers. They're fishing last because they don't have Aaron Rodgers anymore. I don't believe in Jordan Love. Their defense is suspect. I don't, you know, Aaron Jones is another year older. They're hoping Christian Watson, all those young receivers pan out and Aaron Rodgers couldn't pan them out. Why do you think Jordan Love's going to? I don't think the Packers are an awful team, but I do not think they're good. I expect them to be in last place of the NFC North. Third place. It's going to be the Chicago Bears. But, you know, that's better than last year. They're, they're a better team. Justin Fields is good, has weapons. He's got Darnell Mooney. He's got Chase Claypool. He's got Robert Tanya, and He's got Cole Komet, Khalil Herbert. They, they got him help. The defense is way better with all the additions they have. Offensive line, hopefully they come back healthy. I know they're beat up right there. But the Bears, expect them to be around the 500 mark, if not a little better. They're the, going to be the third-place team. They're going to compete hard this year. They're just not quite ready for the division oops broke my plunger but they're they're gonna improve a lot number two who's gonna finish in second place this year in the nfc north the detroit lions they're back they've arrived they're taking steps each year jared goff is looking better amon ross st brown is a beast tj hawkinson is no longer there that's why i'm fucking up <laughs> He's on the Minnesota Vikings. Lions got defensive weapons. Their line is solid. 
lines. Just they just need Jameis and Will, uh, Williams just to stay health or not stay healthy, healthy. But he needs to stop gambling because you're what he matters for that Lions team. They got Jameer Gibbs. <sighs> yeah, I know they got rid of DeAndre Swift, but Jameer Gibbs is a stud. He's a beast. They got David Montgomery. So the Lions, they got weapons all around. Expect them to be in a second place team and battle for the wild card and battle for the division all year round. And that leads us to the first place team, the one to plunge out the entire NFC North. And they're going to win yet another division title. I know a lot of people may disagree, uh, disagree with me, but I think the Minnesota Vikings win another NFC North division. Kirk Cousins, I know he chokes in the playoffs, but he's good enough to win the division. He's always putting up good regular season stats. Alexander Madison's getting his first crack at starting running back. Justin Jefferson's the best receiver in the league. They added Jordan Addison. They got TJ Hawkinson, not the Lions anymore. So let me correct that before you guys blow, blow up on me. But the Vikings defense is pretty solid. I know they lost Alvin Cook, but they don't need him. I think the Vikings take another NFC North division title. And that rounds off my uh, division for the Norths. So let's recap. AFC North, first place, Bengals. Second place, Ravens. Third place, Browns. Fourth place and, well, fourth and last place, Pittsburgh Steelers. In the NFC, you've got the Minnesota Vikings winning the division. Lions finishing in second. The Chicago Bears finishing in third. And the Green Bay Shitters, I mean Packers. Again, last place in the NFC North this year. And there we go. And then we'll finish out the divisions each day this week. I'm just happy football is back. We're about, what are we, about 14 days away, 13 days away. Should we talk about, with a couple minutes left, let's kind of switch gears here from football to baseball. Look what happened today. Cup played a good team, and they get their butts kicked 5-2. to two. To the Milwaukee Brewers. They're trying to go for the division. And they they could beat up on the Pirates. They could beat up on the White Sox. They could beat up on the Tigers. Play a real team. And you get beat. That's my problem with the Cubs this year. They got hot. But they were playing all the, all the bad teams. I understand you got to play who's on your schedule. But hey. Same thing happened in the White Sox in 2021. People were saying. Yeah you're beating up in your crappy division. Which we were. Play good teams and see what happens. And, you know, the White Sox eventually couldn't beat the Astros. They couldn't handle teams that were over 500 with winning or winning records. And uh, same thing's happened to the Cubs. I think that's what the Cubs are at right now. They're the best out of the bad teams. But when they play good teams, they're just not ready. And also, what's his name, Jamison Talon? He's an awful pitcher. That wasn't a good signing at the end of the day. He's been ass and cheddar cheese. Most Cubs fans have him on their shit list. Bad on that butter they do. On that butter they do. But, all right, guys, that's my toilet talk. Let's keep on with the predictions tomorrow. Love you guys. Have a safe night. And flush a doodle doo. <laughs>